I talk a lot about my grandmothers. Um, I have two wonderful grandmothers who lived many years, both of them. Grandma Gretchen, who was my mom's mom, and Esther, who was my dad's mom. Uh, Esther, I called her Nino, and if they had reversed the names and I was Esther Gretchen Whitmer, you might know me as E. Gretchen Whitmer. Um, I love the name Esther now, but growing up that would have been even harder than Gretchen, and Gretchen was hard enough. Um, but, you know, Grandma Gretchen, my mom's mom, always said, your name is Gretchen. Never let anyone shorten it. It is Gretchen. And so my whole life I've had this aversion to people calling me Gretch. I don't like it. I didn't like it. My brother said, if, you'd, if I'd ever called you Gretch, you would have murdered me when we were growing up. And um, so I had this aversion to Gretch. And then how many women want big in the front of their nickname? <laughs> right? And so during the pandemic, this nickname started in Detroit. You know, I was taking on a lot of heat for trying to keep people safe in the pandemic. The former president was targeting me and you know i was taking a lot of heat for it and um this nickname came to be you know big gretch has got our back and so i was like what is this big gretch thing and shaquille myers from from who was working in my office then she's now in the speaker's office um was a detroiter and she said no you don't understand governor the people have accepted you big gretch is a compliment they have accepted you and it this rapper gmat cash made a song called big gretch and it has just become this thing that it was love that the people of Detroit bestowed on me when I was really stressed out and worried during the pandemic. And so it's become my new favorite nickname, Big Gretch. I'm, I'm down with it.